start this look, I'm first going to take a piece of scotch tape and place it on the back of my hand a couple of times to remove some of the stickiness. Then place the tape on the outer edge of my eye from outer lower lash line to the end of my brow, kind of like when applying wing liner. And I'm going to prime the lid using MAC's Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. I love using this concealer as an eyeshadow base because it really just helps prevent any creasing. Going into my Stila in the No palette, I'm first going to take Desert on a large fluffy brush and work this into the crease. As you can see, I'm using a windshield wiper-like motion from outer to inner corner and taking the shadow up onto the brow bone. This soft matte tan eyeshadow is going to act as our transition shade. Then on a Sigma E25 blending brush, I'm going back into that palette to pick up Fire. Fire is a beautiful matte brick orange shade that's really going to be the star of this look. So I'm applying this also in the crease and outer corner, but not taking this as high as I did with Desert. Going into the Urban Decay Naked palette, I'm taking Half Baked, a gorgeous golden shimmery eyeshadow on an eye shading brush, and pat this all over the lid. On the opposite side of the same brush, I'm taking this pretty bright pink eyeshadow called Love Struck by Mark by Avon and applying this to the outer third of the eyelid. This touch of pink is going to add a nice subtle pop of color to the lid, so I'm just going to press and pat that on. Going back to the blending brush, I'm going to add a touch of fire to the outer V, layering slightly on top of Love Struck. And then picking up a small amount of desert on that larger fluffy brush, I'm going to blend in the crease right above fire. On a pencil brush, I'm taking Nylon by MAC and applying this to the inner corner to highlight. And I'm also taking nylon on a blending brush to highlight under the brow. Carefully remove the tape. For eyeliner, I'm using this Ulta Cole Eye Pencil in Chocolate to line the upper inner rim as well as the lower waterline. And I'll also be using this pencil to wing the upper lash line. So now that the tape has been removed, there's a perfect guide at the outer edge to follow for wringing out the liner. So as you can see, I'm carefully thinly lining the upper lash line and thickening out the line upon reaching that outer wing. Time to curl those lashes and apply mascara. Today I'm using Almay's Intense Eye Color Volumizing Mascara in Midnight, applying a healthy dose to the upper lashes. And then once we're done with that, we're going to move on to the face and we'll get back to the eyes in a minute. So to prime the face, I'm using Tarte's Clean Slate Flawless 12 Hour Brightening Primer and really pressing and patting the powder, the primer into the skin. By doing this, as opposed to using circular motions, you're really allowing the primer to sink into the skin, thus giving it the chance to work better for you. So just press and pat that in. For foundation, I'm using Tarte's Maracuja Miracle Foundation in Fair, dotting it all over the face. And then after that, I'm going to use my favorite beauty tool, you guessed it, a dampened beauty blender. Seriously guys, if you haven't tried the beauty blender yet, I'm not sure what you're waiting for. It's seriously amazing, it's easy to use, and gives an almost airbrush finish. So I cannot recommend it enough. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue blending out that foundation. Moving on to concealer, I'm starting with that MAC Pro Longwear Concealer to conceal any blemishes as well as a little under the eyes to kind of hide my bags that I've got going on right now. Then I'm taking Maybelline's Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer to brighten up under the eyes, on the tip of the nose, Cupid's bow, center of the brows, and around my mouth. 
and then using the Beauty Blender to blend. To set the foundation and concealers, I'm using Tarte's Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder with a tapered face brush to lightly sweep the powder all over the face, mainly concentrating most of the product under the eye and down the center of the face. Moving back to the eyes, I'm going to retouch that inner corner highlight. Then dip my pencil into Desert and apply this to the rest of the lower lash line. And after that, add a touch of fire to the outer corner of the lower lash line. Then I'm going to pick up a little bit more of Desert on that blending brush and blend, blend, blend under that lower lash line. Remember, the more you blend, the better it'll look, so blend away. I'm going to finish off the eyes with CoverGirl's Clump Crusher Mascara in brown to the lower lashes. And then, voila! Time to move back to the face. On a Real Techniques contour brush, I'm picking up some of this NYX Matte Bronzer in Light to do a little contouring in the hollows of the cheeks. Who doesn't love a little face definition? I know I do. Then on a Real Techniques blush brush, I'm taking Rimmel London's Maxi Bronzer in Sun Queen and further warming up the cheeks as well as the frame of the face and a little under the jawline. On the apples of my cheeks, I'm taking Milani's Baked Matte Blush in Delizioso Pink on a Sigma Powder Blush Brush. Then adding a touch of Milani's Baked Blush in Luminoso on top. To highlight, I'm using Lorac's Perfectly Lit Powder in Spotlight on a Real Techniques setting brush and applying this to the highs of the cheeks, around the top of the brow, to the cupid's bow, and slightly down the nose and chin. To blend all those cheek products, I'm using a BH Cosmetics Duo Fiber Stippling Brush. No harsh lines, please. And then on the lips, I'm starting with Rimmel London's Moisture Renew Lipstick in Nude Delight. Finishing off the look by heating things up with Maybelline's Color Sensational Lip Gloss in Coral Heat on top. And that completes the look. I really hope that you enjoyed watching my coral heat makeup look and get a chance to try out this look for yourself. I'm loving corals in the warmer months, so this is a must try look for me. So thanks so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I hope that you have a beautiful day. Bye. For a full list of products shown in this video, check out my blog at truebeautyliveswithinyou.blogspot.com.